Now tonight, the Nation Media Group's political affairs desk is shining its spotlight on the two speakers of the bicameral parliament. National Assembly's Moses Wetangula and Amazon Kingi of the Senate who are continuing to politic without batting an eyelid. Their conduct seemed to have eroded the confidence of Kenyans on the 13th Parliament, so much so that former National Assembly Speaker Kenneth Marende rates the performance of the current Parliament at a shocking low of 2.5 out of 10. Here's NMG's senior political affairs reporter Ibrahim Karanja with the story of the speakers who have refused to stop talking. The speakers wrote the delegation comprises... The more Moses Masika Wetangula and Amazon Jeff Kingi, now on their 464th days as Speaker of the National Assembly and the Senate respectively, continue to hold office, the clearer it appears that the duo is not about to do the ethically honorable thing and be apolitical. Murimoyo. Wetangula not only continues to serve as the party leader of Ford Kenya, but is also outrightly speaking on behalf of the ruling Kenya Kwanzaa coalition, even making public commitments that would otherwise be a preserve of those in the executive. The speaker. And while no law expressly requires a speaker to cease holding office in political parties, those who've gone ahead of Wetangula and Kingi kept off politics. Was still. Wetangula is also the chair of the Parliamentary Service Commission, a commission that deals with members and staff welfare. Even if the constitution and any other enabling law does not expressly bar it, mm -hmm. uh, but I think the position uh, that you preside in as the speaker mm -hmm. dictates that you shed off other interests. Mm -hmm. Because when you preside as a speaker, mm -hmm. you are actually referring over competing political interests. Mm -hmm. And you cannot be an impartial, uh, objective, and independent referee mm -hmm. if you are also a player at the same time. For context, both Wetangula and Kingi were serious coalition leaders of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance in the run-up to the 2022 polls. Today, having not relinquished leadership of their parties, it means that they are presiding over a house full of their members in the party, as well as in the alliance, yet are expected to be independent arbiters during sessions. Everybody it will be including your own sons and daughters, members of Fort Kenya, or members of that other party that uh, uh, the Speaker for the Senate belongs to PPA. Mm -hmm. uh, how will they catch your eye free of bias? Mm -hmm. And yet they are your own children, and, 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 and by reason of them emanating from your political party. Interestingly, on the 21st of February 2019, Wetangula, who was then serving as Senator for Bungoma, called out then Chief Justice David Maraga as a head of an independent arm of government for simply attending a political rally by then President Uhuru Kenyatta in Kisi County. We feel embarrassed to see. And when I heard the Chief Justice saying he's happy that the executive has come to bring development to his homeland, he's not the Chief Justice of Kisi. He's the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, not standing on a roadside gathering and looking bamboozled. Today, Wetangula, ahead of an independent arm of government himself, is not only just attending political fora, he is also heavily politicking while at it, From today, what preaching water and drinking wine. The same applies to Kingi. Such are the leaders of an arm of government expected to oversight the executive and, by extension, the president. So these are already compromised individuals. And that's why for me I say, I'm so disappointed even to share a profession with them. Mm -hmm. Because they, they ought to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. They ought to have resigned first as the, as, as the uh, leaders of their political party. Because mm -hmm. they are politicians. Mm -hmm. And it is the reason why... Mm -hmm. They are behaving the way they are behaving because they are politicians. They are not really at speakers mm -hmm. as 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 a, as, a, as in, in, in the constitution. Mm -hmm. Because if they were speakers, strictly speaking, mm -hmm. 
They ought to know that they are very independent. They ought to be very independent people. Former speakers of the National Assembly, Kenneth Marende and former Senate Speaker Ekwe Ethuro, have this to say about the conduct of Wetangula and Kingi. This accounts for why we are performing at our lowest ebb mm -hmm. in the legislature as things stand today. Mm -hmm. So if you want me to give a mark, mm -hmm. I think the fairest mark I'll give is... Uh, mm, 2.5 out of 10. You are not there to to advance the interests, your personal interests or the, or the interests of the party. Because mm -hmm. you already are political leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of minority leader, mm -hmm. those are the ones who run the, 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 the party political agenda. If you want to be a true speaker, you must resign from being a leader of Ford Kenya. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.